Hello everybody and welcome to this video. Uh, before I actually start this video proper, uh, I'm actually going to go check out some of the other videos on miniatures on YouTube. Uh, let's go check out Matthew Colville's video. That'll be interesting. And I was really happy with the result. This cost 20 bucks. So at this point now, keep in mind that this plus the mini was probably about $30. <laughs> what? What? No, no, I, he didn't say what I thought he said. That's, nah, that guy... I'm sorry, guys. I must have been having an auditory hallucination. Well, let's 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 go back and rewind that. This cost eighty dollars to get painted. This cost eighty dollars to get painted. Eighty dollars. Eighty. <laughs> In all seriousness, I love. Uh, his videos. Everybody should go check out his videos. I think they're really great. Um, it's just this one kind of struck me as a little bit weird, and I'm not an idiot. I watched the entire video. He talks about how people can have fun painting, uh, and the, if you paint miniatures, they're going to be much cheaper than buying them, uh, and then, you know, and then paying somebody else to pay them. Obviously, I saw that video. It's just, it's just weird because, you know, I didn't start this hobby until I was like 30 years old. And if I had seen a video like that where somebody said, hey, you need to spend $30 on one miniature, like, I, I don't know if I would have gotten into collecting miniatures at all, much less painting them and stuff. But as it turns out, Reaper Bones uh, actually was the first time I got interested in painting. Uh, and I ended up painting my first uh, miniature, which is a little just uh, Reaper elf person that I found at a local... Uh, shop there and ever since then you know i've had fun painting stuff and i generally spend one dollar per miniature and then i take the time to uh to paint it and you know everybody is has a different life and everyone's at a different point in their life uh so with this with this hobby is always time versus money <laughs> uh in the recent past and more so than now, I had more time than money, and I think a lot of people are the same way, so painting miniatures actually was really relaxing and fun, and it's a way to have miniatures and not pay a lot of money for them. Even if you want to go the pre-painted route, I've already done several videos on where you can get cheap pre-painted miniatures, and I'll be doing more in the future. The other point that he made, I want to say that buying pre-painted lots on eBay is not the cheapest way. Uh, very rarely can you get a deal like that nowadays. There are less people getting rid of their collections and there are more people uh, trying to make a profit by getting rid of their collection. So now instead of people just saying, well, here's my collection, people are saying, well, here's my collection and I'm gonna start the price at $1 per miniature. So these things are going for like three, $400 for lots, which is, that's crazy. Um, I'd rather not invest the time. Now, I am a hypocrite because I actually did find a really good deal on eBay where somebody had a bunch of miniatures where uh, they were all missing their bases. And a lot of the miniatures had their heads cut off. So <laughs> that's a whole other video, I guess, because it was just so weird. So I actually got really good luck with that. So I got a bunch of pre-painted miniatures that I had to rebase in some where I'm going to maybe see if I can put new heads on them or whatnot. But I think my point generally remains the same. Uh, if you want to do the pre-painted route, D&D uh, &D and Pathfinder sets from places like Miniature Market, the blind boxes are much, much cheaper than buying them miniature by miniature. It used to be you could go on these sites and get them for you know an average of $1 per the common miniatures. That's no longer the case. The prices are kind of crazy. Um, so again, uh, the even cheaper way is unpainted miniatures. Uh, and for anybody interested in uh, painting their own miniatures, the best deal right now is not the Reaper miniatures. The Reaper Bones miniatures are great, but it took me forever. Uh, by the way, if anybody is interested in trying out Reaper Bones, uh, get some U uh, Vallejo uh, Surface Primer. Vallejo Surface Primer, if this camera. This stuff right here. In the official threads, people like to use the Reaper Liner, and they people like to say, just put the paint right on the Reaper Bones, and it'll be fine. In my experimentations, that's not really true. Uh, and every single spray primer I have tried on Reaper Bones didn't work. The Vallejo Surface Primer, uh, the uh, the Tank Gray or Dunkel Grau, uh, is really good stuff. It dries perfectly. It's not tacky at all. I even tried the Reaper uh, um, Brush-On Primer, and that stuff remains tacky. So, again, 
Uh, no, even better than doing starting off with the Reaper miniatures, just start off and buy one of the D&D board games, like the Wrath of a Shardalon or the Ravenloft uh, D&D board game, the one that comes with 42 miniatures. And these are all going to be like hard plastic minis um, that are, you know, they're not as uh, bendy as the original D&D miniatures. They're harder plastic, but these take primer and paint very, very well. And with a nice coat of UV-resistant uh, Krylon uh, matte clear varnish, the paint's not going to chip. Like these, this little Grell and this little dude here have just been in with my pre painted miniatures as I've been carting them to events and whatnot. And these little dudes have not lost any of their paint at all. So, again, the, the, um, the Reaper Bones are great, but if you just want some workhorse minis for cheap, then I would get one of the board games. Now, those go for like $42 on Amazon.com, but if you look around a little bit, you might be able to find them cheaper on eBay, and also if you have one of the coupons to Jet.com, you will you can get a set for like $26, $28 uh, if you have the coupon for your first three purchases. So I think that's probably the best deal right there. Um, whew, the last time I got official, uh, a good deal on official D&D miniatures was actually the 2015 Extra Life Marathon. Uh, and this year, all I got was a book that some jerk named Chris Perkins wrote in, so... Uh, deals on the official stuff, I mean, frankly, you're not going to get a better deal than the unopened blind boxes from the set, uh, sets at, you know, that miniature market, cool stuff and company, stuff like that. Uh, but again, if you have a little bit of time, you can certainly paint your own miniatures. Uh, you know, I, I painted just like a bunch of skeleton dudes and I did like, well, I don't know where the other one went, but I did like three and they didn't take very long at all. So you don't really have to invest a ton of time if you just learn some of the basic things like dry brushing and using washes. They will look much better than any pre-painted miniature you will get. Um, because frankly, those are assembly line things. They're using the same basic things, but the care is not going to be put into them. So I do again disagree with the other point that uh, he made in that video where he says you won't be able to paint as nice as pre-painted. Eh. The vast majority of people, you know, my hands aren't steady. I'm not very talented at painting miniatures, but, you know, I think anyone can really make paint miniatures and have them look nicer than the pre-painted ones. Which at this point, yeah. So uh, let's see here. We have Reaper Bones Barbarian, which is this mini right here, which I can't get my camera to focus on. Um, yeah, so this was just a, just a pretty quick paint job, just some basic, uh, dry brushing and, and whatnot. Over there is another Reaper Bones, uh, Alchemist miniature, another quick paint job. Uh, up in the corner up here is the, uh, Reaper Ogre, which I painted purple to make it look cool. The other direction, that is the, uh, big Baylor miniature, which I believe, I believe that comes in the Dritz one. So, yeah, that's the Dritch D&D board game box. Uh, and, again, as you can see, like, you know, I'm not great at painting, but these look fine. Uh, you know, I did take, uh, I think I did try a little bit harder on the Ogre there to try to look, make it look a little bit nicer. But, again, you know, it's, it's going to either be time or money. But I just, I don't think the extreme example of, uh, I mean, $30 per miniature. I mean, it's just like... I'm the sort of perfectionist where if I'm going to pay $30 for a miniature, uh, I want it to look, like, better than I could paint it. <sighs> I just can't I can't justify it. So, again, uh, check out the rest of Matthew Colville's video. He does a lot of really good ones on uh, just basic D&D play. But, again, I think it's great for different people to have different points of view on this sort of stuff. So, again, uh, if you have any other questions about cheap miniatures, uh, please let me know in the comments. And I will be doing more videos on cheap miniatures that you can buy for $1 or less as, uh, as we go on here to the new year. Proust.